Hi, my name is Lindsay and this is my first video on how to play the cello. Today we're going to talk about um, the basic functions and basic structure of the cello. And I'm going to start off with the top part. So this part is called the scroll, it's also called the, called the head. And right below that there are four black pegs as you can see. And these are called the tuning pegs. These tuning pegs um, are mainly used for when you have major changes to your tuning. So basically, if your strings are really out of tune, um, then you need to use these pegs. Especially when you get new strings, you need to use these tuning pegs. Um, if you're not going to have huge changes to your tu tuning, if you don't have a lot of problems, just minor um, detailed problems, then you have to use these bottom tuners called the finer fine tuners. And these are very small and they um, can only make changes to a certain extent. So these fine tuners are placed on top of a, um, this tailpiece. And the tailpiece is connected to this, the knob of the end pin. The end pin can um, control um, the length of this pin. Like this is called the end pin because it, you can control it depending on your height and depending on your um, the height of the chair. Um, more about the body part of the body of the cello. This is called the F hole. It looks like an F. And this is called the C bout because it looks like a C. And on top of that, there is this wooden piece called the bridge. And the bridge supports um, these four strings. The four strings are called um, are a, D, G, and C, and all, all four strings are um, supported through the bridge, and they are connected to both sides of the tuners. Um, another part that supports the strings is called the fingerboard, and the fingerboard is this black board that goes down from the top, the scroll, top of the scroll. Uh, I mean, right below the finding tunes down to here, and there's like a little space between the fingerboard and the bridge where we normally um, play the cello with our bow. Like, we place the bow around like here, not too high, not too, not like right there. You have to be above the bridge though, and yeah, that's this gap is where we normally place our bow. So this is the, um, that's pretty much for the structure of the cello itself. And um, the cello comes with a bow. You can't play the cello without a bow, except for when you're doing, when you're plucking the strings called pizzicato. And the bow is a really important source for all string instruments because you can't play a sound without the bow. Um, so basically this bottom part is called the frog. It's the heaviest part of the bow. And um, this is the, the um, this is the the white part is made out of horse tail, and this is what you have to use to to actually place on the strings. And this is the tip. And I'm gonna be talking about the bow a bit later, like in my next video. And yeah, that's the that's the bow. Um, cellists have to read through bass clef, and a bass clef looks like this. It's like uh, an inverse C, the opposite way. And um, some most of the times cellists read through the bass clef because that's their normal clef to read off. But then when it gets to like higher notes, then we have to read off treble clef, which is ma mainly used for violinists. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for um, what I had to, um, what I was trying to cover today in today's video. And in the next video and um, the video after, I'm going to be talking about how to actually start playing and how to make the sound on your cello. So. Um, Yes, and thank you, and thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.